Good afternoon, folks. I've always found that the Aladdin chip, this little baby here, which you can get on AliExpress for about what six, seven dollars, that or thereabouts, I've always found them to be quite an acceptable Xbox chip, you know. Um, but then along came Serbios or Sabios, however you want to say it. I say Sabios, um, and we need to reflash these and i don't really see anyone showing a detailed way to do this and it's actually fairly simple so let's do that vid alrighty so we have downloaded uh sweet dark destinies uh cd based iso um, which is the Serbios 2.3.2 uh, flash disk utility. And what we're going to do is we're going to whack this in the console that you see in the big screen. Nice and simple. Uh, I will, obviously, I'll link it for you below. So that you can uh, download it for yourself from one of two spots that I see it. Uh, also working on a new version of this drive as well. This two terabyte. We're moving it up to a four. So, uh, oh, I've not actually got my screen on the right channel. So let's just shift that over to HDMI three. There we go. And where I am right now on this screen, whoop, we'll shift that out of the way a minute. You'll see that I have got the OGX Serbios disc load it up and we're just going to press start for it to play in this particular item all righty so there we go we've got unleash that's just come up and now the sabios disc is about to boot up now it is actually really simple this it's not it's not hard whatsoever so you have an Aladdin. You have added the little solder link between BT and the next closest link to it. Not the one on the same line as it, but let me see if I can show you the picture. Um, this is how I do it. This, so it's always on. This is. So it goes, between, goes to, the, to the closest one to it, essentially. Once you have done that, stick it in an Xbox. Um, that is flashed obviously and uh, a little mod chip so we're going to select uh, number three Sabios disk DHCP and no BFM mode and that will load you into that screen and we will get several times where we have a very dark screen this can go on for maybe 12 to 15 seconds so do not panic as long as your laser can read and you know it plays games this should work now make sure you use a dvd minus r disc um i always use verbatim so uh and they're quite cheap now so it's not too bad it's like a quid a disc thereabouts it's no worse than it was in its heyday 20 years ago 15 years ago okay so yeah 15 maybe 20 seconds a little glimpse of unleash has just popped up i don't know whether you caught that but unleash comes on the screen for like a split second and then we get another black screen ignore the ignore the no no video thing all right so we're going to choose number two flash the bios with x blast os and then we're going to go with the most basic 2.1 which is Flash the BIOS UDMA 2. Right, don't worry about the fact that we're using 2. Because it'll go to the fastest one it can, or it should anyway. But I'm sure you can do it in the settings anyway. Okay. It will now put all the files required to do this onto your hard drive. So we are going to flash from the hard drive. And we click yes on that. And then it's going to load into those files. And we are going to go to settings, flash menu, HDD flash, and select BIOS.bin. 
Now to do this, you have to hold down both your triggers, the start and white button on your Xbox controller as shown on screen. Press it once and it will flash. Now originally this booted with Evo X. Once you see this uh, Sabaya screen, press eject. Pull the disc out, close the drawer, and turn it off, and then turn it back on, and you will get the Sabios boot screen. And it is really is that simple. Why nobody has a really good video of it, I have no idea. Uh, maybe it's um, deep buried in the video, but that's how you do just that. If you want to flash Aladdin, that's how you do it. So, thank you very much. Uh, I do hope it has helped. And uh, yes, I know I'm a marvel. <laughs>